In this video, we'll cover delivery of data from Kinesis Firehose to S3. This will be a complete hands-on tutorial and uh, I'll directly move to my Amazon management console. I've already logged into AWS management console. So you have to search for Kinesis here. Click on Kinesis data Firehose and create delivery stream. So you have to enter a delivery stream name. So I'll just say example delivery. Then you have to choose a source. So how are we going to send data to delivery stream? There can be multiple sources. So the first one is direct put or other sources in which you can uh, use IOT, CloudWatch logs, CloudWatch events, Kinesis agent or SDK API to send the data. Other one is uh, Kinesis data stream, uh, which you can integrate directly. So I'll use direct put or other sources option. Next, if you want to enable server side encryption using KMS, I'll skip this for now and I'll click on next. Then if you want to process records, if you want to transform your records before sending to your delivery, then uh, you can choose enabled and you have to provide lambda function. I don't want to process my records. I'll not cover that in my this video. I'll create a separate video on that. So I'll choose disabled for now. Next is if you want to convert your format, you can convert from your JSON to Apache Parquet or ORC format, which are big data recommended. If you enable them, then you have to choose the output format and then uh, you have to specify schema where your metadata will be stored for that. So I'll choose disabled for now. I'll click on next. As I told you in my previous video, there are certain destinations where you can send the data. If you choose S3, then accordingly below you'll see the S3 option. If you choose Redshift, then the option changes. So in this video, we are covering delivery to S3. Then I'll choose S3 only. I'll create separate video for all the other destinations. In S3 destination, we have to choose a bucket. I need to create a bucket. So I'll click on create new. So bucket name we can uh, give then S3 prefix. If you want to choose a prefix for your data, then this will create a separate folder as per that prefix. But if we don't choose, then it will create folder structure with this prefix. For example, first it will create year, then month, then day, and then hour. This is very important for partitioning your data. So this is the recommended way to store big data, not enter anything here and let it choose uh, its own prefix. Then uh, for error also, if you want to give any prefix, so I'll leave this empty also. Then I go to next. This is very important. We have already covered buffer size and buffer interval in our previous video. Either of these two options must be satisfied before data can be sent to the destination. So we have to choose this wisely because this can impact our performance. For example, if we choose buffer size as five, but our data is coming in very small quantity, then it will choose the buffer interval, which is huge here, which is five minutes here. What I can do here is I'll reduce my buffer interval to 90 seconds so that uh, whatever data I can get in 90 seconds will be moved to my S3 bucket. Then we have compression and encryption. So it supports multiple compressions, gzip, snappy, zip and Hadoop compatible snappy. I'll disable this as of now because I'm not sending huge data. But this option is very important and this comes under the best practices while using Firehose because ultimately it will reduce the size of your data in the storage option where you are sending. Then is S3 encryption. You can choose according to your needs. Then uh, error logging. I'll enable the error logging for now. Then permission. You must create IAM role for that. Here you get the option to create or update I am role. So if you have already created, then you can choose the existing I am role. 
but I have not created anyone. This is my first delivery stream. So I'll choose create or update IAM role. I'll go next. Yeah, at last you can uh, review your configuration, whatever options you have selected. You can review and uh, click on create delivery stream. This can take a couple of minutes. Yeah, you can see the status it's creating. It's created successfully. Status is active now. For testing this, we must create one producer that sends data to Firehose. But if you go to the delivery stream, you can see that you have an option test with demo data. If you click on start sending demo data, AWS will send data to your Firehose. Data is being sent to our stream. We have chosen uh, 5 MB or 90 second as our buffer size and time. We must get some data after 90 second in our S3 bucket. So meanwhile, I'll open S3. Bucket is there, but there is no data as of now inside this. Probably after 90 second, we'll see some data. I'll go to S3 and hit refresh. Yeah, you can see that I we got some data. It has used some prefix here. So if you go inside year, then you'll go to month, then day and hour. Yeah, you can see we got some data, which is 26 KB in size. And uh, if you want to see what data is this, then you can go to select from. And this is a JSON format. And we can click on show file preview. Yeah, you can see that we got some data. So how do I get to know if this is a JSON data? Because we can see from here that format of demo data is like this. This is it from uh, Firehose to S3 delivery. In next video, I'll create one Firehose producer, which will send data from our local Java code instead of uh, sending test data. Uh, I'll stop sending demo data for now and uh, delete my stream. Otherwise, I'll be getting charged for this. This is it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching this video.